Hey, good evening. It's a Tuesday, August 13th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. going to do a few videos on communication. That's something we do every day, whether it's verbally or non-verbally, that dramatically impacts our lives and the lives of people that we interact with, especially those closest to us. So I think it's a good time to think about our words. Are our words healing words, building words, or are they destructive, rotten words? You see, there's really only two categories. All through the Bible, we are urged to choose life or choose death. Walk in the way of light and righteousness, walk in the way of darkness and despair. The same thing is true with our language. My words, your words, they're either going to build up and heal or they're going to tear down. Paul talks about this in Ephesians. It's a passage I've looked at before, but it's, these things are so rich we could talk about each of them multiple times every day and still wouldn't get to the depth of it. It's just like every night the sunset here is different, gorgeous and striking in just different ways and as is the one tonight. It's going to be different than last night, different from tomorrow night. But there's still the power of God being displayed. That's the way it is when we look at God's Word. Ephesians 4.29 says this, Don't let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs so that it will benefit those who listen. The word unwholesome here is really, the Greek word is putrid, rotten. Don't let any rotten words come out of your mouth. And some people make this out to be swear words or abusive language. And while it includes that, it's much bigger than that. The context tells us something much different. Because it says, don't let any unwholesome talk, rotten words come out of your mouth. But only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. So in the context of what Paul is talking about here in Ephesians 4, about building the church, about putting off the old behavior, which is destructive, and embracing Christ and his new way, then the unwholesome talk, the rotten talk, is talk that does not build up. Earlier in verse 16, we are encouraged to be like Christ and we're supposed to be engaged with each other as each part that builds itself up. This building process. That's what we're to be about constantly. Building, healing. There's so much damage in our lives and in those close to us. If we're not about healing and building, we're going to be destructive. Whether we mean it that way or not, we're going to be destructive. There is a lot of pain and hurt. Not everything, but it's there. And if we're not aware of that, if we're not sensitive to that, we're going to contribute to it. So let me, let me finish what it says here. Don't let any unwholesome, rotten words come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, and then this, that it may benefit those who listen. So you and I have an obligation to listen well so that our words bring healing and that the person that we're talking to is actually benefited by that. My wife Ruth was a master of that. She was able to talk to people even when she had hard things to say, but they felt blessed by it. And that's what our responsibility is. That's what Paul is calling us to here. I need to be understanding where someone is if I'm going to be able to talk to them. Otherwise, a word which might be perfectly fine in one context may be very destroying or damaging to someone. I've got to know the context of the person that I'm working with. My words need to serve them. So I need to know what's going on. I need to know the person. I need to know what their day has been like. I can't do that to everybody on the planet, but I can do it to those to whom I am close to. 
I can know where my children have been doing that day. I know what my wife is supposed to be doing, or your husband, or a close friend. We need to be connected to them, so we just go wandering around saying words without any context. Paul says, if I don't give thought to my words, if I'm not trying to bring healing to the person I'm talking to, to bless them, benefit in some way, it's going to become a rotten word. We've got to know the people in their lives that we're inter interacting with. It's not enough to say, I've had a bad day and check out. We're always going to have bad days. But we'll never have a day where we're not supposed to bring honor and glory to God. How do you do this? How do you build up, as Paul says earlier, if we want to follow Christ? We need to use this combination of words that are pleasant, gentle, and respectful. We say it again, pleasant words, gentle words, respectful words. See, even if we're firm, and sometimes we have to be firm and direct, even if that's the case, I can still have respect, I can still be pleasant in the way I deliver the word, I can still be gentle with it. Because if it's not gentle, I'm going to stir up anger. That's what the Proverbs warn me about. I've always got to have the mission of bringing honor to the person I'm talking to and bringing honor to God. And this is especially true if I've got to talk about something that's unpleasant or difficult. If someone else isn't having a good day, that doesn't give me the right to unload. What Paul is saying here is if our words are not gentle, carefully placed to, to bring about healing, even if they have to be hard words, then they're rotten words. They'll be destructive, and they'll tear down rather than build up. So give this some thought. Again, I'd love your thoughts, your feedback on it. Your words, are they rotten? Are they healing? Think again about those three things. Even if it's hard, but our words always need to be pleasant, they need to be gentle, and they need to show respect. Because God calls us to that. We're supposed to consider others more important than ourselves. We know that gentle words ease anger. We know that present words promote instruction. That's what God's calling us to. Again, love your thoughts, feedback. No random words, no rotten words. Words that healed, words that build words that honor God. Thanks so much for being here. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk more about our conversations. Bye-bye.